Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. In the past month, I've done three videos on Antex Linux. Now, I never lived in it, and I never installed it on bare metal, but I've been playing around with it in virtual machines for the past month. And like I said, I did three videos. One video was installation and configuration, you know, adding the awesome window manager and the cinema desktop and some of my favorite apps like I do in all my videos. The second video was showing how to configure it and change things in the configuration files and to set it the way I like it. And the third video was kind of a comparison between it and LMDE6. Because what happened was, is after my second video, Antex Linux had a big update because Debian had a big update. I think there was a hundred apps or something that got updated. And after the update, my Antex Linux, the processors were running really high even when I had no applications open. And it was making the processors run high in the host machine as well. And when I noticed it, I was running Antex Linux in a virtual machine using VMware and my host machine had Windows 10. So I thought maybe it has something to do with Windows 10 or VMware. But like I said, the processors were running high in my host machine and the guest machine. Then at home, I thought, well, let's try it in Arch Linux. So I already had a virtual machine made in Arch Linux. So I have Arch Linux is in my host machine and I had a virtual machine of Antex Linux using Kimu and Vert Manager. And again, the process, I did the update. Before the update, the processes were fine in both the host and the guest machine. Then I did an update and the processes were running high in both the host machine and the guest machine. Then, just to make sure I wasn't going crazy, I made another virtual machine. In my Arch Linux host machine, I made another virtual machine using Vert Manager and Kimu, Atopic Kimu, with Antex Linux, and the processors were fine until I updated it. And after that 100 app update, the processors were running high in the host machine and the guest machine. So that is why I ended up doing that video on Antex Linux or LMDE6 Linux. And I complained about the processors running high and I kind of ended the video saying, hey, I think LMDE6 is better. So after the video, there was quite a few comments and two people commented asking me what processes were running high and encouraged me to find out what processes that were making the uh, processors run high. What was running in the background? Why are the, pro why are the processors running so high? And of course, I, you know, I read the comments. I thought, ah, I don't want to do that. Why should I have to do that? After an update? Why is the system running okay before an update? And after an update, it's running high. And it's even making the processors in the host machine run high. Shouldn't have to bother. So that was my attitude. But eventually, you know what? I checked it out. I found out what was running high. And I figured out how to fix it. And now I'm going to show you how to do it in case you're running Antex Linux and you see your processors are running high after the update last week. So I apologize for the long introduction, but uh, let's get to it. I'm in a virtual machine of Antex Linux using Vert Manager on top of Kimu, and the host machine is running Arch Linux. And let's check out HTOP. So I'm going to click on my right menu and I'm going to click on App Select. I'm going to type in X term. And I'm doing this because I have the conky turned off by default, which I showed in not the last video about Antex, but in the video before I showed how to go into the configuration file and turn off conky so it doesn't turn on automatically when you boot into your system because uh, I don't care for conky. So anyways, let's turn on 
let's type in X term and let's click on X term. Let's just open it up and I'm just doing it this way. So let's type in H top. Now look at the processors. So I have nothing else open here and look how high the processors are running. And if I showed you my uh, host machine, you would see the processors are running high as well. Now I'm not going to show you my host machine because the processors are running really high, partly because of this and partly because I'm filming. You know, I have OBS Studio open and I'm recording this and making this video. So of course that's going to make the processors high. But just trust me, if I shut OBS and I shut my recording studio, the processors are still going to be running high on my host machine because of this. So this is what I'm going to do. And also the running high in my virtual machine. And I don't have anything open. I don't have Firefox open or any apps open or anything. So this is what happened to me two weeks ago and I didn't know how to fix it. But now I do. So what I'm going to do is, let's close this. Let's right click. App select. Let's just go down further. Let's right click app select. And I'm going to type in pipe wire. I'm going to click it on. Now, if you read this line, whoop, this is pipe wire. This is to enable or disable pipe wire audio server. And it tells you if you do that, you know, you can read it further on here. If you do that, it's telling you that some software might not work properly. Some of your audio software won't work f properly, like Firefox. But I did this and it didn't affect anything as far as I could see. So what you're going to do is click it on, double click it, and this little box comes up here. And see right here it says pipe wire. And see there's a toggle switch here and it's at green. Well, I'm going to toggle it off. Now it's off and it's red. Now it's going to tell you to reboot. So I'm going to click on this reboot button and I'm going to reboot. So I just turned off pipe wire service and it's telling you that if you do that, some of your audio might not work and like the audio in Firefox, but mine's okay. So I'm going to put my password in. That's my encryption password. I'm decrypting the drive. And it's brought me to the login screen. And I put my password in. And I'm just going to, the wallpaper's a bit wonky, so I'm just going to go to logout. I'm just going to restart the session. There we go. Now, the only thing about this is that it takes out this volume control. This volume control that used to be there, which I like, is gone. But if we click on, right click, let's go to app select. And let's type in X term. Because I like X term. Let's double click it. Let's close that. Let's open up my X term. Let's do H top. And look at the processors are nice and quiet because I don't have any apps open and it's running at 224 megabytes of RAM, which is really low, which is the way Antex is supposed to run. Look how quiet the processors are. And I know because I tried it, if I shut off OBS Studio and open up HTOP in my uh, bare metal computer in my host machine, I know that the processors are going to be quiet as well, too, because I tried it. And I also know that uh, my audio is working. Um, let's close this. Let's open up my web browser. Let's go to YouTube. So let's click on, this is the video, one of the videos I was talking about. Let's see if we have audio. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, yeah, I'm... 
recently I did two videos and X Linux. And I also did a video about LMD East. So you can see the audio works now. The sound might not have been great, and that's because I have my internal audio turned off. So OBS is not recording from my sound card. It's only recording through the mic. So the audio was coming through my speakers from over there, and the mic was recording it from here. So the audio probably won't come out too good. I have, as far as I can see, is that I lost that volume control. Now, we know that this has, Antex Linux has this ability to switch window managers and desktops without logging out and re-entering in your password. So let's go into the awesome window manager. So I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to other desktops. I'm gonna bring down this menu and I'm gonna go to the awesome window manager. Now, of course, the awesome window manager, I installed it on video after my initial installation and the awesome window manager doesn't come installed by default with Antix Linux if you want it you're going to have to install it so now we're in the awesome window manager and let's click on htop and there we are okay now we're running a little bit higher we're running at 264 megabytes of ram which is really not high right and, oh, now it's down to 240. So now we're running at 240 megabytes of RAM. And that's not high at all. And look at the processors. Look how quiet the processors are. And I know that if I turned off OBS Studio, the processors in my host machine would be quiet as well. Now let's open up Firefox. Let's just do another test. I wanna make sure the audio is working. Today I'm going to take a look at NTX Linux. It came out with a new ISO a few weeks ago, and I'm going to download it, install it, and take it for a spin. Oh, so we can see that uh, the audio is working, and again, it probably didn't sound good because OBS is not recording from my sound card, only from the mic. And that was coming from the speakers to the mic. And it's kind of funny that when I made that first video, I was mispronouncing Antex Linux. I was calling it Antex. Anyways, so now if you want to change that setting from the awesome window manager, you're going to hit your mod key and the P. And then you're going to type in pipe. Oops, I spelled it wrong. There it is there. See where it says here, enable disable pipewire audio server. Now, of course, the mouse doesn't work in uh, Awesome Window Manager. So you're just going to hit your mod key in your P. You're going to type in PIP. And then when it's highlighting the enable or disable Pipewire audio server, you're going to hit enter. And now it gives you the option here. To talk. Right now you can see it's toggled off. But if you want it back on, you can toggle it on and then go down here and hit the reboot. Or if it happens to be turned on, then the switch will be over here and it will be green and you want to turn it off, then you'll just toggle it off and hit reboot. Red means it's off and green means it's on. So you just toggle it to whatever one you want to have and then hit reboot and reboot the system. So that's how you change the setting from the awesome window manager. Now to get back to the other desktop, I'm going to hit the mod key and the P. I'm going to type in other, hit enter. And let's just end the video back in the default desktop that comes with Antex Linux. And that's how I fixed the high processor usage in Antex Linux. I figured out how to fix the high processor usage in Antex Linux. And like I said, after my first and second video, I think Antex Linux is a good system and I highly recommend you take it for a spin. 
And if the processes are running high, you know how to fix it. I hope you learned something today and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mitch.